Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly Sun and Rising Tarot reading for April 11th to 17th. While I, while this is a general reading, I try to get as specific as I can. You'll notice that I use astrology, uh, obviously tarot, and my guides for the reading. Now, if you have seen my videos in the past, you will know that Venus went into Pisces last week. That was a huge astrological uh, alignment that was... Uh, that we're going to feel all month because that Venus is going to be in Pisces all month. Now, also, yesterday, Mercury went into your sign. You're going to love that. Uh, what else is happening? On the 12th, uh, which is tomorrow, Jupiter is conjuncting Neptune in Pisces. That, uh, again, if you saw a lot of my previous uh, readings, you'll know that that's a huge, huge, rare, 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 rare aspect that hasn't happened since 1856. And it is all about the arts, celebrating the arts. It's pioneering in imagination. It is, you know, it really is a one of a kind rare alignment that we're very lucky to live through. And you are going to feel that this month. It is some powerful energy happening there. Uh, Mars is going into Pisces on the 14th and then uh, let's, we're going to end the, uh, end, end the week on the 16th, uh, with the full moon in Libra. Okay. Now I just want to say that Venus is in harmony with Mercury and Uranus that are in your sign. So expect this weekend to be very game changing for you. Also, I do want to remind you, we do have an eclipse at the end of the month in your sign. Taurus, this is a very busy, very, very busy very, very busy month for you, okay? Uh, first of all, Venus is in, uh, let's see, well, three planets are in Pisces, okay? And so that is your 11th house. So there, you're probably going to be very socially active this month. I mean, that's your house of friends and networking, but it's also the house of your um, hopes and dreams and wishes coming true. Uh, also, the Libra uh, full moon, that is when things come to light, is around the full moon. That is your sixth house. And... Uh, Sixth house rules a lot of things, but let's see where uh, the focus is. The, the, the sixth house is really, you know, that's the health, that's day-to-day uh, -day activities. I mean, there's there's so many things that rules, but let's we're going to go ahead and start your reading and see uh, what is going to be going on for you, Taurus. Okay. I'm using the traditional Celtic cross spread, but I do a brief version. If you want to book a personal reading for me, you can go to my website, thetarotship.com, where I do personal readings. Now, all right, so, um, listen, I know that you can't see the cards so well. I'm going to hold them up as I go. I'm going to let you know right now, you have an insanely incredible reading, okay? This is really good stuff. First of all, Boom. You got the six of wands. This is what's going on in your life right now. You're celebrating something. You're being, you're getting recognition for something. I'm picking a lot of work energy here. Uh, you really, gosh, this is huge. Okay. So, uh, the six of wands is really all about victory. It's all about getting attention. It's all about being recognized for the work that you do. It's all about, um, even like in modern times, it's like publicity. It's like, you know, like there's just so much happening where you are getting recognized for the work and, and people are applauding you and you're, you know, clearly victorious and successful. And this is how you're going into this week. And man, Venus really is giving you a lot of attention and energy. And remember, like I did say that there's a lot of activity in your 11th house and that is, you know, networking and people and your friends and whatnot. So good for you community there too. Um, what's interesting is you got the hanged man in your challenge area. Now, I don't want you to be afraid of the hangman. I love the hangman. The hangman is one of my favorite cards, okay? And so, this is just saying that there is, the hangman put himself in this position, right? If you take a close look, he's smirking. Even though the card looks a little scary, he put himself there because the things in the past were not working the way that he wanted it to work. And so, he literally put himself upside down to look at things with a new perspective, okay? You'll also notice that uh, he's hanging in what appears to be the sign of the cross. So, very spiritual connotation there too. So, that is just saying that as you go through this week, 
try to remember to look at things in a different way okay try to remember that because that could be the point where um that could be the answer to everything all right even though you are going through this moment of victory and success there's a lot more to come and we'll talk about that but try to be a little bit more open to seeing things in a different way because there could be uh you've reached a point of success you've reached a point of victory and now it's like well what do i do now and so maybe some tourists are stuck in this place where where do i go from here and that's why you got to look at things in a different perspective because ways that you looked at the ways that things happened in the past for you they may have you know brought you to this moment but as you enter this new life cycle, uh, you should think about looking outside the box or thinking outside the box and thinking about your next step. Uh, one other thing I want to bring up real quick, the four of cups, all right, that's on your mind. You're thinking about money. You're thinking about investments. Uh, this card obviously means a lot of things that in this spread and the major, the major energy and messages I'm getting is investment. So uh, you could have spent a lot of money on opening a business recently or there's something that you spent money on okay there's some i'm getting the message you've, you've you've exhausted some of that so be very careful about little money it's on your mind for sure uh investments is the word that keeps popping up in my head so a lot of tourists are thinking about investment okay so start thinking about saving money start thinking about maybe you want to open up uh, Robin Hood, or is that, I don't know if that's what it's called, Robin Hood or an Acorns account where you, you know, squirrel away a little bit of money here and there, but start thinking about that. That's on your mind. That is one thing that you want to think about moving forward. Also, you did pull, um, another six. Wow. Look at you. Okay. So the six of cups deep down inside, this is all about sharing. Okay. There's again, this this has so many different meanings for this reading. This is all about sharing and being open to sharing. So share some of your success and share some of, you know, don't hold your success in either. Let people know about your success and your victory and, you know, the recognition you're getting. The other thing about this is like, Taurus, like you are having an amazing, we, you, you, you hit a milestone. Tap into your inner child. This is also an inner child card. This is all about like, uh, it's all about nostalgia here, right? So find some joy. Celebrate. Gosh, celebrate. Please do, okay? Um, go out with friends. Venus is all about making you, making sure that you uh, go out with friends and, and, and hang out with them and celebrate, okay? I know the reason you should. You pulled the Ten of Cups. This is all, again, complete joy, complete happiness. The end, you've reached the end. I mean, 10 is the end of the suit, right? So you, this is, man, I mean, that's in your past. So whatever it is, gosh, you, you are going to have an amazing week. This is a guarantee. Do you know why? You pull the Empress as well. When I say go celebrate with friends, I'm not even effing around. The Empress, Venus my little favorite aphrodite okay you can see the symbol of venus is all over the empress she is all about love and beauty but she also represents the finer things in life luxuriating it, it, treating yourself like go out and get a spa treatment go out and you know order that cake at dinner go to a fancy dinner go celebrate honestly like this is a time to celebrate Taurus, this is a time, a huge time to celebrate, okay? And I see that in your future too. So you are going to do that and you are going to spend a lot of time uh, this month, actually, not even this week, but this month, like celebrating and really just treating yourself. Man, you have worked hard. Man, you have worked hard. This is crazy. And you deserve all the success you are getting. You truly, truly, truly do. Uh, this really is a fabulous, a fabulous reading. And, uh, I'm going to go to your staff now. If you're enjoying this reading, it would be great if you can like and subscribe. That would help me out. Thanks. Okay. So now that we've gone to your staff, I'm just looking at the time here. Okay. Jeez. Can you see that? Okay. Well, 
You probably can't, so I'm gonna hold them up one by one, but all I'm saying, all I'm gonna say right now, you pulled two Major Arcana and two Court cards, okay? And then over here, you have two Major Arcana, all right? You have a lot, I mean, this is a very significant week for you. I'm not gonna lie. All right, Justice. It's interesting that the Justice card came up because I think that one thing that you're looking for right now is in this moment of celebration, in this moment of victory, in this moment of success, you are looking for, uh, you could be looking for a little bit of uh, balance in your life. You could be looking for literal justice. I don't, I'm not getting the message that you've been wronged in any way for Taurus. It may resonate. And if so, listen, you pull the justice card. So what this means is that literally justice will be served, right? This is a big card of karma, okay? And so the Justice card is uh, huge Libra energy, by the way. And so um, one thing about that, remember I said that there is going to be a full moon in Libra at the end of the week, okay? And that is going to be in your sixth house. So one thing that I want you to keep in mind toward the end of the week, because the full moon uh, shines light, brings things to light, there could be some truth that you learn, all right? Because the Justice card also is all about truth. One thing that I like to point out, um, you, did you get the King? You didn't get the King of Swords, okay. Anyway, so the Justice card is all about truth and justice and law and order and, you know, how in just like knowledge and balance, you see the scale in her hand, but there could be some sort of, uh, you could be on some sort of mission to find some truth about something. So that's really interesting. And I think it'll be revealed toward the end of the week. You also pull the Emperor card. Listen, you have so much protection around you. It's not even, it's not even funny. The Emperor is the daddy of the tarot deck, okay? And so what we love about the Emperor is, look, he's wearing the crown for success. By the way, this is huge Aries energy. He's wearing the crown for success. He uh, has a long white beard, okay, for wisdom. Red cloak for passion. You can see in his hand, he has the world in his hands. He's completely looking, you, the armor underneath him. He's completely protected. Now, this fell in your external areas, fact, or factors area. So it just means that there's someone looking out for you. There's someone who would like power and authority. It was on your side. And it's, you know, that's... It's great. And it could also mean that like, you know, in terms of the justice card, there is, that's a powerful combination there. Okay. You have an amazing spread. You have nothing to worry about. Okay. This week. So again, the emperor, the position of authority and power and just like ruler of your own destiny. And so there is going to be likely someone coming in or somebody already in your life, whether it is a family member or a boss or a work partner or a co-partner or something like that is on your side and is really just going to really amplify that energy this week. Now, the Queen of Swords, you're on a mission. Remember, we said you are on a mission to find some truth this week. The Queen of Swords, what I love about her She's not sitting in that throne because she got lucky. It wasn't like she didn't inherit it. It wasn't like a situation where, you know, she just happened to fall there. She worked to sit in this throne. You know how she did that. She used her mind, not her heart. That's the thing about the Queen of Swords, okay? This is all about knowledge. It's all about power. She is so cunning. She is so smart. She is so intelligent, okay? And that's where you want to be. And again, truth. We're talking about truth here. Truth, truth, truth. Truth, truth, truth. You are seeking some sort of truth, which I will repeat. Toward the end of the week, you will find it. Uh, whether it's some sort of inner truth you're looking for or some truth about a situation, it's going to come to light, all right? You also got the Knight of Swords. I am just, wow, fiery, 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 fiery energy because swords is air, knights are fire. This is fiery energy. You can see him go, 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 go. He's like speed racer here, okay? Uh, this is, you're ready to, things are going to move fast. Things are going to move fast for you. Uh, so if there's one, one piece of advice I can, um, I'm going to end with is one thing about the Knight of Swords is, uh, he is also like 
the Queen of Swords, okay? He's, they, he's very, this is very mental energy, super mental energy. Uh, so your mind could be going like really fast in the direction that for uh, obtaining this truth and knowledge or whatever. But one thing about the Knight of Swords is he is very impulsive. So that just try not to be like too impulsive in the end. Uh, but other than that, this is an incredible reading. I'm very excited for you this week. Very excited for, you know, everything that's going to happen for you. Again, this is a very big month, not even a week, but a big month for Taurus. And, uh, yeah, uh, congratulations for whatever it is you're, you're celebrating now or will celebrate this week. Um, uh, yeah, so that's your, that's your reading. If you, uh, it would be great if you like and subscribe and, uh, I'll see you at my next reading. Thanks.